I woke up like this. <laughs> So what up, what up, what up, YouTube, it's your boy GRAJ, so, oh, oh my goodness, it's early, it's my day off, I really don't feel like doing anything, but now I gotta get to the gym, I gotta work on this, this body of mine, I don't know if it actually shows the whole thing, but I got the wide angle on, um, I'm using the Canon today, let my phone charge up, this thing is a little hefty, you know? You definitely get a shoulder workout. Hold on. Alexa, turn the bedroom on. Because a lot of people couldn't stomach this. And so Papa oh, made his bed and, and he's decided. So, watching the Young Turks. Uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately. And uh, some of the stuff that I've been watching has kind of got me a little concerned. So, one of the things I was watching that, that kind of concerned me, um, there's this uh, one channel, I think it's called Living with the Webs, and uh, I actually found out about it from another channel, uh, Melly Sandra Lopez. So, I was watching Living with the Webs live yesterday, and this is not a, a bash on them at all um, but I do want to say that uh, if you have 55,000 subscribers and you've been on YouTube for you know a decent amount of time you really should know what a super chat is um, somebody like one of her friends had to have uh, hold on Damn, was I really that close the whole time? Hold on. All right, so yeah, I, I was pretty close. Um, it, it wasn't too bad. It was kind of just like a headshot, but I'm starting to learn like the focal lengths. So right now I'm at 24 with the wide angle lens. Before I was at uh, 35 with the wide angle lens. Um, Sorry, it's dark. Hold on. I'm just trying to find the right kind of setup. So I just grabbed my little tripod piece and want to screw it into the bottom of my monopod, as some people call it, selfie stick for those, uh, the rest of us. And this thing has like a uh, little feet. So, boom, I can stand it up. So now I can have my tripod standing there. I don't know why I put you guys right next to the, the, the teapot that's like boiling water. I know it's like super loud. But I just wanted to come down and, and grab that one piece. Not realizing that, you know, I would put you right next to the teapot. Hopefully I'm in focus. So I did a video with um, the... Uh, uh, what was it? The Dollar Shave Club. I just got Dollar Shave Club in. Did a video. Um, but I noticed that some of the auto focusing, like, hold on, let's see if I can do it. So, not auto focusing, but focusing, you know, with the camera, uh, it has like this terrible, terrible sound. Did you guys hear that terrible sound? Um, it was awful and uh, I want to get a camera or a lens or something that is a little more quiet when I go to focus so <sighs> so let's take a look at some of this Dollar Shave Club stuff I've got the pre-scrub I've got the shave butter these are small little travel size ones hold on one second Okay, so Dollar Shave Club. 
Now, I don't get paid by Dollar Shave Club at all, but um, I had them a few years back and uh, I like the product, so I bought it again. You know, this is out of my own money. This is not like some kind of sponsored deal. I wish it was. <laughs> But if you do like Dollar Shave Club, I do have a link in the uh, description below. Uh, you can go ahead and check them out, and I think they'll kick me out, get a little, little extra, um, you know, a little extra some some. But so the shave butter, this is like uh, like their shaving cream or whatever. Um, the pre scrub, you know, obviously wash your face before you go to shave, uh, and then the post shave do I believe that's like a, a post shave moisturizer um, that's not what I was talking about earlier what I was talking about earlier was uh, being on YouTube and understanding you know your level on YouTube so I think I have probably 300 and almost 320 the last time I checked I think it was like 318 which is awful I mean, I've been on YouTube technically since 2008. Um, yeah, I've done a couple workout videos. I've done a couple videos with, um, you know, unboxings and things like that. And I only have 318 subscribers. I do get a lot of interaction, um, and uh, not a lot. I get, I get enough interaction. Is this how I hit? Sorry. Yeah, it's something. All right, uh, but I do get you know enough interaction, and I do get um, you know some pretty decent feedback. Um, the point that I want to make is that if you have you know fifty plus thousand subscribers, um, at some point someone should have said, "Hey, why don't we set up a super chat?" And the reason why someone would say that is because throughout you know her videos she's talked about you know her struggles uh, financially um, her her uh, dependency her use her use of government assistance um, and I'm just thinking to myself like yo if you use government assistance and you have this huge platform it's like saying I have the ability to fix cars um, but I'm just going to fix cars for free because it's what I love to do. This is my release and my outlet. But I'm going to go uh, use government assistance. It's like, why don't you just charge people to fix their cars? That's kind of what you, you know, if you're making a YouTube video and you've got 55,000 people who um, use your video for entertainment, um, you're providing entertainment, you know. Um, John Legend doesn't play uh, Carnegie Hall for free. Um, Kevin Hart doesn't stand up and tell jokes on stage for free. These things are, um, it's their job, it's their business. Uh, They're providing a form of entertainment and they get paid for it. If you have a YouTube channel and you are providing some type of entertainment value you know, to your viewers, your subscribers, your supporters, you should be paid. And like I said, this is not a, a knock on her at all. Listen, you're doing amazing, okay? Um, I, I, I do want to touch a little bit on something she said about um, government assistance. Government assistance is not something to be comfortable with. Um, I don't want you to be embarrassed, uh, you know, to the point where, you know, you're, you're ashamed to show your face and things like that. But you should have some, some type of shame in the back of your mind to say, this is not where I'm supposed to be. I don't want to be comfortable here and I need to get off of this assistance program. Congratulations to her. She is getting off the assistance program. I can't believe that I'm making a video about another person's channel, but it's just something that, that you know, it, it hit me and I was like, how can you not see that you don't need to be on government assistance uh, a government assistance program if you have a business a YouTube uh, entertaining business and you are not capitalizing off of it you know um, 
I'm pretty sure that with fifty-five thousand, uh, you one could earn money from YouTube AdSense. You could set up a Patreon page. You could set up a um, a website and have uh, something like Custom Ink design a shirt for you. Web Gang T-shirts. You are no longer on government assistance. Period. 2019. And and listen, I don't know when she got to, to this level. I don't know how long she's been doing this. But in 2019, Miss Webb, you are going to blow up. If you do it the right way. Build a website. Wix, you can build a website in like a half hour. I'm telling you, you, you can. Not me. You can build a website in a half hour. It is so stinking easy. Um, you can uh, set up uh, a blog section on your website. You can set up, um, you know, whatever you want. You can uh, throw up your pictures from your your videos. If it, let's say you're doing a makeup tutorial, I see you know you do makeup. Um, you're doing a haul. You want to do a picture of your haul. You can put up your your blog post and say, hey, listen, um, you know, a new video coming soon, and boom, throw the picture up. You can do the same thing on Patreon and have patrons pay you uh, uh, a f uh, certain amount per month, and then you can set up tier levels. Oh well, um, if I'm going to do a live Q and A, because that that's what it was. I was watching her live video, and there were a ton of people who were commenting, and I wanted to kind of get my comment out, but it kept getting lost in, in the huddle in the, uh, the 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 feed. So I was like, well, where's your super chat? You know. Dude, like, I'm entertained. I'll give you a dollar. You know, I'll support your channel. But there wasn't a super chat. So where's your Patreon? Because I want to get my, I want to, I want to get my question. I want to get it an answered. Um, and it's like, it's, it's like a dollar, two dollars. You know, you think about that. A bottle, a, a gallon of water costs a dollar. And you could probably get what, like eight servings of 16 ounces out of a gallon. Is that right? Yes, yeah, 128 ounces. So 16 ounces. So you could probably get like about eight, about eight servings of 16 ounces. That's a, so. If you go to the 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 the, the Wawa, we, we have a Wawa convenience store, and you get a 16 ounce bottle of water, 20 ounce bottle, whatever you want to call it, um, and it costs you a dollar, depending on which brand, because you get a brand it costs you a dollar thirty, or you could buy an entire gallon. And only pay a dollar. That one dollar, a bottle of water, a gallon of water, you're gonna spend it. That's my point. You're gonna spend the dollar. If you want to get your question answered, if it's something you want, a dollar is not that big of a deal. So that dollar is a way for me to get your attention. Um, why can't I use that to get your attention? because you don't have it set up. Why don't you have it set up? And she says, I don't even know what a super chat is. I'm like, bro, it's 2018. Everything that I've learned uh, about YouTube, I've learned on YouTube. Uh, excuse me. Dollar Shave Club, for example, right? Dollar Shave Club, um, I learned about on YouTube. Then I learned that there was a Dollar Shave Club affiliate program. I learned that on YouTube. Then I learned that if I were to link, or if I were to put my Dollar Shave Club link in the description and you guys were to go out and buy it, let's say you're a female, you wanna shave your legs, or you're a guy, you wanna shave your face, a guy, you wanna shave your head, I'm about to shave my head now. Um, and uh, you, know, you want to, um, and someone buys it using your link, you get, um, I think it's like a certain kind of commission or something like that. My daughter's in the, our bathrooms are back to back and she's using the water. Sorry about the noise. But, um, and you want to do, you know, you want to earn a commission. You can earn a commission off of Dollar Shave Club. Now, I'm not telling her how to run her business because I'm pretty sure that she's very well versed. I saw she was reviewing products that people were sending her and stuff like that. But, um, there's a there's a certain level of um what's the word i'm thinking of there's a certain level of i don't want to say go-getter but like there's a certain level of 
initiative that you have to take. You've got to take the initiative to say, listen, I'm, I'm not feeling myself, but I'm getting you know to a level of, of success where I can start calling the shots. And if I want to have, uh, you know, some user engagement or some, some uh, you know, some community feedback or, you know, they want me to keep making videos, we got to support you. I saw she was she she uh, had an interview at like Subway. Listen, I'm not trying to toot your horn, but you don't need to be working at no Subway. You know, you don't need to be working at at some uh, 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 what do you call it? Some minimum wage job. No offense to anyone who does, but yo, if you've got 50 plus thousand subscribers on on any social media, you don't need to be working at uh, some uh, uh, fast food, you know, minimum wage, entry level job. You have built a business online. 50,000 people is a lot. If those 50,000 people were willing to support you uh, over on Patreon, I mean, you'd be set. One dollar a month from, let's just say, a fifth of that. One fifth of 50,000 is 10,000. And if 10,000 people give you one dollar a month, that is $10,000 a month. You are good. You're good. Do you know what I mean? Like just whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and shave. I just had to get that off my chest, you know? Like anyone who's watching this, if you have you have a YouTube page. When I first started YouTube, I saw this uh one lady and she was talking about how she's gonna get her own web page and she's gonna do all this other stuff. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. She's gonna be famous. And I was like, damn, I wanna start a YouTube channel. And uh like I said, I've been on YouTube since two thousand eight. Um so that idea, you know, of, of you know, be on YouTube and get rich has not really worked out for me. So now I'm just I'm doing it, you know, like there are certain steps, certain things that you need to do on YouTube in order to be successful. And I have not been doing them because I've been clouded. So when I review products, when I talk to the camera live like this, um, you know, I'm participating in vlogmas. That's a way to get, you know, more videos out, get more viewers, more subscribers all these things so that I can build a business on YouTube. And listen, I'll take you guys with me. I do have a Patreon. I have one patron who donates $1 a month. I mean, it's not much, but listen, thank you. Thank you. As a matter of fact, shout out to Talisha. Thank you for supporting my, uh, my, my journey in creating a video based business uh here on the internet um so my point is is that if you're on youtube if you're on social media you may be doing it for fun and that's that's awesome but don't forget that while having fun you can build a lifestyle and you can create income and you can support you and your family while you are having fun it is the american dream all right you can be successful and have this pay for your life. That's enough. That, you know, this is the end of my vlog. I ain't gonna shoot nothing else. This is your boy G R E J S M O, and I'm a. Yo, I ain't gonna front. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Living. It's about time. Shit is going my way. You know what I mean? There ain't nothing like it. It ain't nothing like paying the bills on time. Enough dough left to know that we still gonna shine, but it's never enough. So